me is it really means an opportunity that we can um, come to a place of learning and learning how to become our own leaders. Hearing similar issues with other people feeds a sense of belonging. creates like a space to be able to step into being like my authentic self. New Lead was initially requested from young people and actually elders up in the Northeastern Treaty 8 territory when they were saying, you know, we have a lot of skills, but they're not recognized, they're not seen. And, and so part of the, the whole idea of, of New Lead is really around bridging traditional knowledge and contemporary knowledge like um, teaching us different tools, different communication tools, like different ways of being together and working together and ways of being able to like deliver messages that we feel are important for us. You also want to co-create it, that, that it, that there's ownership on it and that it belongs to them and, and it's filling their need. Yeah, I think I, I see how the different workshops and the tools within them can be applied in various areas at home. I really admire the, the organization in a sense of I've always seen integrity here. I've always seen love. I always see real. Dorothy hosted the, the World Cafe and I had her back and just coached her through it both before the session as well as during some of the, some of the breaks just step by step. Understanding that self-reflective bit is so key to becoming a facilitator. And the creative approaches was a way of how to effectively engage young people, right? Learning how to find ways of engaging with them in the sense where they feel and hear and be a part of a process of learning for themselves. You're setting it up, you're, you're, just, you're just providing the space, you're, you're creating the energy, and then it becomes up to them to do the experiential learning. What they're emotionally attaching to their spirit and that knowledge of that opportunity. You know, if you're going out moose hunting with your grandfather and you're, you're learning the trails and you're learning to skin a hide and, or you're beating with your grandma or, or you know, serving it at a feast, uh, or walking in those traditional ways that there's a huge amount of knowledge that happens that's really phenomenal. The hope and the dream is, is that, you know, that there's a way to recognize that traditional knowledge and, and bridge and being able to articulate it in a way that identifies their skill sets and, and acknowledges and sees them for that. That's what we strive for is, uh, you know, indigenous and non-indigenous, you know, we're like, we're all leaders mm. in our own capacity. And, you know, we're, to share that gift with others and, you know, help them bring them forward and, and show them their gifts so that they can, you know, pursue their dreams, their passions and, and, you know, make the change that they desire to see within themselves and, you know, their communities and families. It's about bringing together and learning and growing together because all of us have that connecting, that commonality. That, that, that we are people, human beings, expressing ourselves as youth workers for the time being, expressing ourselves as helpers, expressing ourselves as connectors, expressing ourselves as leaders, as becoming. And it's our time to shine, and we will shine. <laughs> You got a gift, you've been giving it to give. You got a life, 
You've been given it to live Through the earth we shape shift Through the water transmit The receive and the give Cry and you will feel Weep and you will heal Cry and you will feel Weep and you will heal Pain, you make it Hands up, heads up, hearts high, so we fly to the stars which are ours. <laughs> <laughs> 